Hello, my fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. This is a reading that we're going to be pulling messages from your person, whether you're watching for a masculine, a feminine, doesn't matter. So we're going to be grabbing from all of these decks here, starting things off with the Woman's Intuition Oracle, which is my self-created one, and another one of my decks, the Thinking Man Oracle Volume 2. We'll grab a message from the Heart and Soul Whispers of Love deck by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. And from my ex Oracle deck, followed by Angelic Revelation 144's Naked Flame Healing Messages. And then lastly, we'll go ahead and grab a time frame as to when things might be happening between you and your person, when you might hear from them, when they might get the conversation started between the two of you. So I'm going to timestamp these down below. General reading, as always, guys. So take it if it resonates, of course. And so we're going to start things off with Leo, and then we'll go ahead and progress to Aries and Sagittarius. So Leo, when it comes to your person, focusing on the feminine first, let's take a look and see what this feminine would like to say to the masculine. So let me go ahead and grab a message from here. So the message from the feminine being next to you, it makes me happy and so fucking horny. All right, feminine. So if you resonate with that, especially when it comes to those intimate moments with your masculine, this is definitely letting us know that you're very attracted to your masculine still, remembering those times when you were together in that way. And there's something about just being next to your person. It just makes you happy. This masculine makes you happy. So let's take a look and see what the masculine's response is or what it is that they just simply want to say to you at this time. So from the masculine to the feminine, I may look tough on the outside showing the world that losing you is no big deal. On the inside, I'm a fucking mess. So we've got a feminine here who's fucking horny and we've got a masculine who's a fucking mess. Okay, so take that, of course, if it resonates, but that's what's coming through so far. So let's go ahead and grab one from the Heart and Soul Whispers love deck. Let's grab this one here. I love spending time with you, you see? So obviously, if you guys are not together as indicated by the masculine's message here, you know, I may look tough on the outside, but their world is actually falling apart. They feel like a mess, you know? And so what they're really wanting is to bring this back together and spend more time with you, my feminines. You know, clearly you guys are still attracted to each other and still wanting each other. So let's go ahead and grab another dialogue message from my ex Oracle here. All right, so it's an indication that obviously you guys are not together. That's what we're focusing on here. I see you in my dreams. Sometimes it feels so real and I wake up to this emptiness in my heart, exactly. And I do feel that for those who are resonating with this for Leos. You know, there's this emptiness and you guys could certainly be connecting in the fifth dimension, there's something about dreams and how you guys are interacting in that way. You know, I love spending time with you, but maybe for now, the only time that you guys can spend together is in your dreams or the 5D because in the 3D world, you guys are not together right now. All right, so let's grab one from this deck here. I have been calling you home to me with manifestation and energy healing. I see us together in my dreams and I believe that it will happen in divine timing. There you go. Two messages talking about dreams. Sorry about that glare. Let me adjust that. Sorry guys. Let's get rid of that. So there's something about dreams here, clearly, and what they're hopefully wanting to manifest. Take it out of the dream world and just for you guys to be together for real, you know. And I just love this message. I've been calling you home to me with manifestation and energy healing. So maybe there's something here that needs healing between the two of you. Obviously there is since you guys are not together, but there's still this energy of wanting to spend more time together in the 3D world. And it's nice to dream about them certainly, but you guys are ultimately wanting to be together for real, not just dream about it. Okay, so let's take a look and see Leo when this can actually happen for you. So let's grab a message from my Time Traveler Oracle deck next week for some of you guys. So this might just literally be around the corner. Okay, they're definitely thinking about you. You're still desiring each other. You guys have been dreaming about each other, wanting to spend more time together. This masculine clearly coming through that he's a fucking mess and I've got some horny feminines here. <laughs> 
<laughs> so it looks pretty good guys as far as you guys connecting and there's your time frame right there so it might just come unexpectedly sometime next week you know but something to keep in mind i mean time frames it's nothing's written in stone if something doesn't happen next week that doesn't mean it might not happen in the future so hang in there and just allow this to unfold the way it's meant to leo's okay so that's what i've got for you guys so moving on to aries all right aries it is your turn to get some messages from your person whether again you are feminine or masculine take whichever one of these makes sense for you so let's start things off with the woman's intuition oracle here let's grab a message for the feminine our future children are waiting so let's make love so there could have certainly been discussions about building a family someday and those intimate moments that you guys have shared okay so could certainly be very passionate and something that you're still thinking about let's grab one from the masculine here if I had a time machine, I'd go back to make right what went wrong between us. I miss you so much. So there is definitely this energy from the masculine of missing the feminine, wanting those intimate moments as well, I feel, and just really wishing that there was such a thing as a time machine to just be able to travel back in time to fix what's broken between the two of you. So let's go ahead and grab one from the heart and soul whispers of love. You hurt me first, so I had to push you away, you know, so whichever one of you ended up hurting the other, you know, as just perhaps a protective measure, the other person ended up pushing away and either detaching from the connection or just leaving altogether, you know, so clearly we're focusing on two people who are not together right now but still desiring and missing each other, certainly this masculine coming through with that message i miss you so much so there was a lot of pain and hurt that happened here and perhaps there's this need to heal from this okay so let's go ahead and grab one from my ex oracle i listen to old voice messages you've left me when the silence becomes unbearable what i'd give to have you here to talk to i miss you so damn much you know, so I really do feel that you both really do miss each other and really wanting to connect in the 3D world. You know, you guys are in separation for now, more than likely. And it's gotten to the point where some of you guys might be replaying those old voice messages just to be able to hear your person's voice because you guys are missing each other so very much. Okay, so let's grab one from Angelic Revelation 144's deck here. Let's grab this one. I consciously send you telepathic messages. You can ask me anything and I will respond in truth. Okay, so you guys certainly connecting through the fifth dimension, telepathic communication. Okay, and what your person is telling you, you the viewer, that no matter what it is that you're wanting to know, whatever it is you have by way of a question, they will answer those questions telepathically because obviously you guys are not together so you know you might dream about them you might even see that they answer your question through their dreams you know if you guys interact in that way but clearly you guys are missing each other very very much so let's go ahead and grab a time frame here as to when you might hear from your person so let's see i'm guided to this card right here it will happen on a Tuesday, okay? That could be any Tuesday from here on out or whenever it is that you hear or listen to this reading. I mean, today is Tuesday that I'm recording this. So just keep a lookout for that. Let's grab one more just to give us another time frame here. So, okay, four months from now, it will happen on a Tuesday, all right? So that's an indication here as to when things might start moving towards a reconciliation between the two of you you guys miss each other we've determined that but there's some hurt here some pain that needs healing and maybe that's why it's going to take that much time for things to come back together okay so that's what i've got for you aries so for those of you who are tuning into this it does appear that yes you guys miss each other and you guys can bring this back together 
in about four months. And again, timeframes are not guaranteed. It could happen sooner than that. It might take longer than that. Just That's just giving you a potential indication as to when things might ultimately start moving towards a reconnection here. All right, guys. So if you have chosen this message, that's what's coming through. All right, Sagittarius, it is your turn. Let's go ahead and grab some messages for you from your person. So whether you're feminine tuning in or masculine, you know, take whichever one of these messages most most likely fits your situation with your person. So let's start things off with divine feminine messages here and what the feminine needs to say about what's going on here. Oh my God, I, <laughs> I pulled this exact same card for Leo. <laughs> so some of you guys might be watching for a Leo here. So my feminines, being next to you, it makes me happy and so fucking horny. All right, so take that, of course, if it resonates. Um, there's something about those intimate moments that you've shared with your masculine you're still thinking about. It makes you very happy. All right, so from the Thinking Man Oracle, let's grab a message from the masculine. I need you to trust me. Okay, so maybe there were trust issues in the partnership and that's something that needs to be revisited and worked through and this masculine is really wanting to win back the trust from the feminine. So, you know, however way that needs to be addressed in the partnership, that could have been an issue as to why you guys are either going through challenges or are not together right now. So let's go ahead and grab one from the Heart and Soul Whispers of Love deck. Let's see, this one is grabbing my attention. I don't want to lose you to someone else, okay? And maybe part of the reason why you guys went your separate ways is because there was someone else. It could have been the masculine that ended up entering into another partnership and, you know, maybe has regrets about that since you guys have been in separation and now coming through, it's like, I don't want to lose you to someone else. So this could certainly be the feminine who ended up losing the masculine to somebody else. But again, take that for how it makes sense. There could have been a third party situation here for some of you. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a message from the ex Oracle here for you, Sagittarius. No more lies, just the truth from here on out. Yeah, so I'm feeling this for this masculine who's coming through with this message. I need you to trust me. Okay, so that's something that needs to be worked through. And this masculine, I really feel, is coming through with the message. It's like, look, I know that I wasn't trustworthy before. And again, there could have been infidelities in the partnership. But this masculine, I'm feeling really strongly that they're not wanting to lie to the feminine anymore. They're just ready to really come forward with the truth. And I really do feel at this point, part of that truth could be that they want to be bringing about a reconciliation and patching things up here with the feminine. So let's grab one from this deck here, Angelic Revelation 144, Naked Flame Healing Messages. Let's grab this card here. You are on my mind constantly. Do you think about me often? I am celibate and waiting for you. You are my one and only desire. I belong to you. Okay, so for those of you who are able to relate to a, a connection, a third party where there was infidelity, I do feel since the separation here, you know, and I'm feeling it for the feminines who ended up dealing with the masculine who was unfaithful and just not trustworthy and lying to you. You know, they're now coming through with this message that they're waiting for you, that they haven't been with anyone in a while, that maybe they're really wanting to be with you. You're my one and only desire. You're it. And if you're willing to work this out, feminines, with your masculine they're still thinking about you and really asking you and wondering, do you think about me often? Do you still think about them? And I, I definitely do feel that. I mean, this was the very first message from the feminine. There's something about being next to the masculine that definitely excites this feminine. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab a time frame here as to when you guys might end up talking or meeting up in person. Let's grab this one. Okay, for some of you, what this is referring to, that time has passed. I kind of feel this could certainly have something to do with, again, a third party, infidelity, cheating, you know, trust issues, lies. That time has passed. You know, that's a done deal. Can't go back in time and fix it. You know, so when will things start moving here for you guys to start talking? 
it's time to let this go. That's interesting. Okay, so it's almost as if I kind of feel somebody's really stubborn and hasn't been able to let the past go. And I'm kind of feeling perhaps it might have something to do with my feminines tuning in that this really hurt you. And maybe you're finding it very difficult to forgive your masculine and they're coming through here wanting you to know. It's like, I need you to trust me so that we can fix this. Okay, because I don't feel that this connection is over. There's still a lot of desire here between the two of you and really wanting to overcome the difficulties of this partnership. Let's grab one final one tomorrow. All right, so I mean, it's not impossible. Some of you guys could certainly hear from your person tomorrow, but I mean, these time frames, you know, nothing's written in stone. If it doesn't happen tomorrow, that doesn't mean that they can't contact you in the future. That's just giving you some possibilities of when, okay? But there's certain aspects of this connection that needs to be let go of, you know, let go of the past, let go of those past hurts that drove a wedge between the two of you. There's healing, certainly that's necessary here and it can happen. You know, no more lies, just the truth from here on out. So you guys have to both be very honest with your feelings and what it is that you're wanting in this partnership. And ultimately, I feel especially for my masculines, not wanting to lose this connection with the feminine. So my feminines, if you're willing to give your masculine another try, another chance, they're coming through letting you know, it's like, I just need you to trust me. And they're going to come forward towards you with, just the best of intentions and working through the partnership here. All right, Sag, so that's what I've got for you guys this time around. I hope you guys enjoyed these messages and see you next time.